It was very much to get in the trenches and, uh, and try to ob objectively tell both sides of the conflict. No one really comes out clean. I think that the, the people in the town have reactions that could be viewed as a little extreme in some instances and in other instances. It's like they're trying to protect their, their families and it makes total sense that they'd be, be outraged. Hi, I'm Christopher K. Walker. Uh, and I'm Michael Beach Nichols, and we're the directors of Welcome to Leith, which is premiering a U.S. documentary competition at the 2015 Sundance Film Festival. Welcome to Leith is a story about a small town in North Dakota, and a man named Craig Cobb moved in to the town, bought up some property, no one really knew what he was about, and then it turns out he was a, kind of a, a famous white supremacist, and he was wanting to bring like-minded people to effectively take over the city government. The town is only 16 adults and the rest are our children. And there's four police officers that patrol that entire town. So when you drive there, you, the closest big city is Bismarck. And that's almost a two hour drive away. So you're really in the middle of, of nothing. And so the people in the town really felt that they weren't getting enough help from law enforcement because law enforcement couldn't just go in and, and kick them out because their beliefs, because everything they were doing was entirely legal. Um, so the people in the town were trying to figure out legal ways to sort of like fight back. It's kind of like a Western, but in, a, in the untraditional sense where the sheriff doesn't just ride in and kick them out. It's, the, he has, the sheriff in the film has to protect both sides. We kind of stepped into a, a sort of moment in time in this country that on the outside seems really extreme and, and like crazy and I can't believe this is happening. But at the same time, it's kind of really representational of racial tensions in the country right now. and just happened to be in the middle of nowhere, North Dakota. We're really excited for audiences to see it because it it does sort of challenge you and make you sort of confront uh, how people behave in these sort of circumstances where even if you are totally opposed to their worldview, um, they're doing something that's completely legal and you can't just uh, sort of attack them. It's a complicated film that uh, has made people feel sort of uneasy, um, which is good. I don't know, it's really like that. That's our uh, objective, I think.